Lord, be praised and honored. Father, I thank you for being a wonderful and merciful God. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would teach us how to number our days. Teach us to be wise with our time here on earth. Lord, lead me to be wise about how I spend my time. Lead us to be wise with what we spend our time doing on this earth. Help us to realize what truly matters. What matters is my relationship with you, Jesus. What matters is building and storing up treasures in heaven. What matters is to testify about your goodness and to tell as many living souls as I can about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Lord, help me not to chase after the riches and pleasures of this world. Because what will it profit us to gain the world but lose our souls? It's of no benefit to make gains in this world at the expense of our souls. Lord, your word says in Romans 13 verse 14, But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Help us to clothe ourselves with robes of righteousness and prayer. Help us to clothe ourselves in the full armor of God. Lord, give us the strength to make no provision for the flesh. Help us, King Jesus, to remain steadfast and never to even think about gratifying the flesh and its improper desires, but instead, Give us a desire that is drawn to your presence. A desire that is drawn to spending time in your presence. Father, I truly praise you for all that you have brought me through. I praise you for the lessons that you have taught me through each and every storm. Lord, I thank you for bringing me through life's adversity and challenges. Through every storm, May you develop my character. Through every crisis, I pray that you will strengthen my faith. Through every challenge or problem, may I become a more mature believer. Philippians 3, 12 through 14 says, Not that I have already obtained this, or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own, because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Lord, as we press on, as we strain forward and run this race of faith, Give us grace, Father. The grace to endure those uncomfortable lessons. The grace to hold on and never lose sight of your promises. Father, give us the grace to understand that sometimes the answer to our prayers may be delayed, but that does not mean that they are denied. God, give us grace to understand that sometimes you might say no to our request because you have something better and bigger in store for us. Should we experience any disruption in our lives, may we understand that at times this disruption may be divine disruption. You may intervene in our plans in order to guide us to a certain destination or in a particular direction. But regardless of how uncomfortable the process may be, we will continue to trust in you. We'll continue to believe in you and to have faith in you. Your word in James chapter 1 verses 2 through 4. It says, count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking 
in nothing. Father, work in me.